Hello guys, it's Melly Silvish and welcome to another video where today I am going to be building a colourful, cosy country farmhouse. Um, I, as you can probably guess, was inspired to build this house based on one of the new kits that we got in The Sims 4, um, which is Country Kitchen. So um, that's the kind of build by represented um, kit. So in my last video, which was just a country kitchen um i do sort of talk about my opinion on kits um i'm not very favorable of the price as i know a lot of people um agree with me as well there um but i do really like the country kitchen furniture items that we got and you know i really liked the kitchen that i built i thought it was really really cute because i think you know the items are really really nice do i begrudge paying five pounds for them yes um, but do I like them? Yes. So I don't know. Take from that what you will. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, I built just a kitchen in my last video. So why not build the whole house? So this is kind of like a little um, country farmhouse, I guess. I was imagining kind of two older Sims to live here. Um, I was thinking maybe like the one of them is sort of particularly prone to sort of farming and gardening um, and the other one loves to I guess kind of like cook and bake with the produce as well I thought that would be quite cute but I imagined maybe you know it's an older couple but one that hasn't been sort of married for too long maybe they met um, kind of later in life so I didn't put any kind of like um, family stuff in there in terms of sort of toys for grandchildren or anything so I imagined yeah, maybe they don't have children and grandchildren they you know maybe had sort of separate lives for a while but kind of met maybe late into adulthood or even you know in elderhood um so yeah i kind of just sort of focused on the two of them and i thought yeah like farming and gardening would be kind of predominantly the two um you know skills i mean farming isn't a skill obviously but you know you know what i mean gardening um and also they do have a little dog as well so i imagine um that was it i was kind of thinking like maybe um like the wife or something was a vet and maybe that's how they met um <laughs> which rhymes um but yeah i thought maybe you know she sort of loves animals and she's sort of really good at training animals and she was a vet um and then perhaps her sort of future husband as a vet walked in with like one of his animals and that's how they met um, but yeah, I imagine now maybe she is retired and she just kind of um, trains their dogs. So I did put quite a lot of um, dog training equipment in the garden, which you will see soon. So I saw this, actually it was on like TikTok, um, which is a surprising sort of source of Sims um, tips and inspiration. Um, but yeah, I saw someone build like this kind of um, grill patio bit like where you kind of walk up um steps and you can there's like a little grill and i put some like counters with um different kind of like kitchen clutter items and stuff like that so um yeah i thought that was quite a cute idea and i think i i didn't really realize it at the time but it actually works out quite well because the kitchen is quite small so this is actually a small house it's tier three i think it's something like 98 tiles um but I think that's largely because of the kind of like patio areas and also that area with the grill as well. Like the house itself, I think is about 74-ish tiles. Um, but it's just the kind of stuff I put around it made it a little bit bigger. But yeah, it is a tier three small home. So you do get the benefits of that. Um, because yeah, it is the two of them. So I didn't want to sort of make this huge house. I thought it makes it a little bit more cozy as well. Um, to do it as a small house but it did mean that some of the rooms were a little bit constrained so in the kitchen for example um, there wasn't so much that I could put there so like I say I think it kind of makes sense that they have that kind of huge grill area maybe they prefer to grill um, yeah that's just kind of what I was imagining maybe like the you know they they like to bake as well that's not something i usually do when i play sims but i thought that would be kind of fun so maybe they're a bit more of a baker and in terms of cooking and dinner and stuff um that gets done on the grill that's kind of what i was imagining just because it is a little bit of a smaller kitchen um but yeah we actually do i mentioned in my last video as well we do have a lot of clutter items already that are very sort of fitting to the country and sort of farming style so 
even like in the base game there's a lot of cool stuff but then also um as with my kitchen in my last video i used a lot of stuff from um cats and dogs and also laundry day um because it's they've both got that kind of um i guess like rustic um farmy country style naturally to those packs um and this house is actually built on brindleton bay so i thought that suited quite well but annoyingly i was going to upload this to the gallery i haven't done so because um and if other people like are big builders you i, I imagine you've probably experienced this before this is not the first time i've done this um, it's so annoying, but I, I sort of did all of this, I did all the building, I did all the exterior. Um, but before I started building, I forgot to check um, what the front of the lot is. So um, basically, like when you load up this lot, um, what you can see here is kind of the front of the lot. But then sometimes what you need to do if you do want to upload a build to the gallery, um, if you kind of up click to upload it but don't upload it just yet you can kind of see what the gallery classes as the front of the house um before you start building which i did not do so basically um after i did all this exterior i realized that technically the front of the house is the side so that's the side with all the um planters on so like if your sim goes to this um house they appear on that side of the lot so yeah, that was kind of annoying. So when I went to upload it, it is just kind of the side of the house. It doesn't look so good. So I didn't bother. Um, but I thought it still it still was a fun build to do. I still wanted to upload it and talk about it because, yeah, I was really happy with it. And it's not my usual style. I'm not one to do kind of small builds or country builds or anything like that. Um, but like I say, I think the new items that we got just look really, really nice. And um they kind of inspired me they they made it actually a bit more fun than it might usually be to be um to kind of build in this style because i don't know we just have a few more items um but to be honest my my least favorite style um to build in is kind of the suburb and i just I don't, I don't really like it it's not my personal style either i think when other people do it it looks really good but when i do it it just looks like really old like grandma houses um, so that's why I tend to steer more towards the kind of like boho thrifted modern style. Um, but this was still really fun to do. And I actually like the fact that the sort of counters that we got with um, the country kitchen set and actually some of the other furniture items in that pack as well do have that kind of like old style to them with the um, they've got like little chips in the wood and chips in the paint and stuff so it does have that kind of like cute and um, thrifted look like we got in paranormal style I think it suits that quite well so I think it's quite a versatile pack and I'll definitely be using a lot of the items for other builds it's not just for farming you know because I think there's something really cute like um, sort of pots and like clutter items that you can use in pretty much any kitchen and I think it works quite well if you're doing like a pantry or something like that so yeah I did sort of mention although I hate the price of kits I really like what we got the other one I had is the um throwback fitness one I really like that as well but I just want to say <laughs> I am so glad I basically I said in my last video that I was originally planning to get all three kits so um, as well as obviously the country kitchen and the throwback fitness that's the kind of dusting and vacuuming pack um, but I just morally couldn't buy it because I just completely disagree with the fact that um, all three packs together cost £15 so I just I decided not to buy the sort of dusting kit um, and I am so glad I did I'm part of a few sort of sims groups on Facebook and I've seen loads of people literally disabling the features of that pack because apparently like well first of all i think you know your sims when they're vacuuming they basically just vacuum all day apparently that's all they do like it takes them forever to vacuum and they're just sort of constantly vacuuming um but also i've heard horror stories of like houses being set on fire and you know sims going out to work and when they return home from work their house is just like gone because it's just caught on fire because of all the dust um, and apparently it's just a very sort of frustrating pack I don't know whether it's sort of 
glitched um, and has a lot of bugs or whether that's just essentially how it works and that's how it's supposed to work but it does sound like dusting and vacuuming is kind of like extreme dusting and vacuuming like I think um, if you leave it it just gets way too dusty and then basically the house burns down and if you address it you just spend all day vacuuming so sounds very stressful and like I say I have seen several people basically say um that they have kind of disabled dust build up in their settings which is essentially the whole point of the pack so yeah i am very very glad that i didn't get that um i don't know whether they will ever do sales on kits if they do i maybe think about it but i think that's kind of put me off so um yeah i was kind of happy i avoided that one um and i am really happy with the ones that i got so um yeah this is just the living room and i love this kind of sofa and chair set from cats and dogs i think it's so cute like with the little high back um and i think it's really suited to like houses with perhaps like older sims um i don't know it's just kind of got that little style so um knitting nifty knitting is another pack as well that's really good for um, I guess like houses for sort of older sims, more traditional country style sims as well because it's just um, like some of the sort of clutter items and the wall items and stuff. It's just just really cute. I mean maybe one of the sims knits. Um, I didn't put a knitting basket down but I definitely think that you, you know that would kind of work quite well in this kind of environment um because i did put a few sort of knitting stuff down i think after the video i realized that i had a shelf that i'd forgotten to clutter up so i just added some um of the kind of nifty knitting like knitted items that are in the debug menu so just to kind of make it look a little bit more homely because i think that was kind of the main aim of this build is just to you know really make it feel like it is you know that kind of um sort of stereotypical older house that's just very sort of cozy um kind of cottage style you know they're obsessed with their animals um and all kind of like farming country things you've got like little um cookie jar and a little like cake um display case as well so kind of the sort of um traditional stuff is what i was thinking and this is what i mean when i say it's a really small kitchen because it is shared with the dining room and i wanted to make sure that there was enough space there um, but I was really happy that I managed to put those little counters there just for a little bit of extra stuff because like I say we do have a lot of really cute clutter items to use. Um, and I put these kind of lights all around the kitchen and you'll see that I also did put them um, with the grill outside and I think they're so cute and they don't really fit the style of um, an older person's country home at all but I just thought they were really really cute and they just added that little bit something extra um and you know i didn't want to get sort of too um stereotypical with it i think you know older houses can have those kind of cute little modern touches as well so um yeah that's what i went for and i was just sort of putting those pots up on top of the fridge i really like them just like it's really um i think when you build with the sims it's really the simple things that you love so just having like little clutter items that just make it feel that little bit more um realistic so little like containers on top of the fridge and um, yeah i really really like those little details now this is the bathroom and there's not much to say about it it's really small but i am not used to building small bathrooms at all i know that um people do like three by one bathrooms for tiny homes and i know how to do them but i don't know i just i don't like um, I just don't like rooms that are too small. It just feels like really cramped and I always worry about like Sims not being able to use them. So um, I tried my best with a small space. Is it usable? I don't know. But because I didn't upload it to the gallery, I wasn't sort of too fussed. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this is the final room now. The bedroom and I, to be honest, one of the inspirations for this build was also this bed. Um, I knew that with this bed and with the country kitchen kit, I knew that I could make um, a really cool sort of farm country style room. Um, and I say it's quite surprising actually how many things we have in the game, even just in the base game, that are really sort of suited to that style. Um, and I put this, um, you'll see in a second, the dog statue. I put that like three times throughout the build because, yeah, I imagine, like I say, one of the Sims is really... Um, into dogs and sort of training dogs it used to be a vet so I thought that made sense and it's also a really cute decoration um so yeah I think that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one um but for now yeah enjoy the screenshots bye <laughs>